Why do men never want to ask for directions? Why is that? Maybe because the masculine purpose is all about navigation, creation of boundaries, containers, and strong purpose. When you're a woman and you're asking a man, hey, go ask for directions. Where the fuck are we going? Please direct me. You're actually challenging his purpose. And that's why he says, no, I got this, babe. <laughs> I remember that last gas station. Let's go 12 more stops ahead. I'll figure it out on the way. Even if he doesn't actually know, he's still trying to live and lean into his purpose, his or her purpose. We're talking about masculine energy, not masculine female bodies. Masculinity is all about directed navigational purpose in space and time. And that's why he doesn't want to ask for directions. It's actually a very, it's a broad view that I want to offer you. And this has a lot to do with the work of Tantra, masculine, feminine polarity, the work of David Data, and, and understanding that the masculine's highest goal is depth of presence and strong navigational ability. Yeah. I mean, I could say some of the best dates that I've ever been on have, have been me telling her, look, babe, you just show up, trust me to take you on a profound experience where we're going is a mystery, but just trust in my ability to, to direct and to lead. And it takes an equally empowered woman to, to believe you and to be like, you know what, I actually do trust you. And that's why I think that the way that I always wanna show up is with truth, sincerity, a fully opened heart, and full transparency so that she can trust me, so that she can be like, wow, this guy isn't trying to pull any tricks. He's not trying to, to game or any of that bullshit. He's just there's something sincere and truthful about him. I can feel into his eyes. I can feel his heart. Yes, I will trust you. I will trust your masculine purpose. I will trust your ability to get us to the destination, to get us where we need to go. I love you. You're a fucking warrior. That, that's a badass chick. That's it. That's it. Can your woman, which this is maybe, the, this is why I put that in the title, which props to you, genius title master over yeah. here. This is why often in a partnership, a marriage, boyfriend, girlfriend, the woman will ask and challenge like navigation, mm -hmm. whether that's on the day, that's on the road trip, that's like getting to the in-laws house. This is like the microcosm of the macrocosm of what you just said, which is, can you trust a masculine leadership, a masculine energetic leadership enough to lead you, to lead you, to get you where you need to go, whether that's in mental space, that's in physical space in the car, or that's in emotional space. Mm -hmm. Can you trust his depth of presence enough that you can rest mm -hmm. into the journey, rest into the trip, the navigation? What, is, what does that bring up for you, Lance? Absolutely, absolutely. To me, it brings up, again, awareness. Being, being present and instead of thinking, okay, we're going somewhere, I have the plan, it, I've known it all along, here we go. That moment, if you're aware and you realize, I don't know where we're going, the most masculine thing you could do is immediately decide, I'm gonna find out where we're going. I'm gonna find out how to get there. And not being afraid, like letting go of the idea that I needed to know the whole time and if I didn't, that means I'm not masculine. It's mm -hmm. in that moment deciding, this is masculine. I'm gonna find out. Asking someone and allowing that purpose and that presence to veer off, veer off from Oh, this was the masculine path. No, the masculine path gets the, what it needs when it needs it, and it'll get you there. Yeah. Wow. Um, yeah, I want to comment real quick on that. Um, some women might be watching this and being like, you know what? Like, what if he has failed my trust? What if he doesn't deserve my trust? What if he hasn't, he has done things in the past to, to lead me not to trust him? To that I say, I understand it. And this is one of those moments where sometimes forgiveness is in play and sometimes holding your man to a standard that's gonna help him to rise to his greatness is critical. If 
oh, you know, like say your girlfriend or your wife is yelling at you like, why the fuck haven't you cleaned the garage? It's been three weeks. She's not actually pissed that you didn't clean the garage. She's pissed because your masculine word, her ability to trust you has faltered and therefore she can't rest in her feminine because your masculine's all fucked up. And hey, we've all been there, guilty, but I think that knowing these kinds of things, understanding the way masculine and feminine energies work, and ladies, you you sharpening your man, being like, yo, I'm here to hold you to your words. I fucking love you, and I want you to be trustworthy. I want to trust your masculine. And men, realizing if you say something, you need to do it, not because of what it represents, but because it's who you are as a man, as a strong masculine presence. This is this is so true. I love that you just brought this up. Like. You could be a millionaire and just have closed a $500,000 deal and just think, man, that's it. I'm going to come home, baby, and just like love you up. But if you forgot to get the eggs on the way home, yeah. she's still going to roast your ass for that because you also gave your word to that. Yeah. And although they're different in degree and one of them was like crazy high level shit, you know, your purpose and your money and your career. And the other one was just for dinner that night. She's still going to feel it. Yeah. She's still going to feel it because... This is actually like some high level shit in masculine and feminine. The feminine is gonna test the masculine constantly, mm -hmm. constantly. That's why he doesn't wanna ask for directions because you're testing him. And this is just, a, this is like a doorway just to get into the understanding here. And it actually gets very broad for me. What's coming up right now is like nature, nature. We got in the ocean this morning, it's cold. Not as cold as, you know, the Atlantic and the Arctic here in San Diego, but you know, it's, it's chilly. And wow, the waves are pounding. There's rocks, there's danger, there's wind, there's stingrays. Nature is all about testing you mm -hmm. and your ability to adapt, survive, and hold your word. And so nature can be seen as the grand archetype of the feminine. That's why it's Mother Earth and La Mar. It's the ocean is feminine. Nature is feminine. Storms, things in nature that are very violent and insane can be thought of as this test. So in the same way, your feminine partner the feminine identified energies in your life, whether that's children, brothers, sisters, lovers, they're gonna test that masculine direction and purpose at any opportunity, especially if you've given your word on something. That's, you're inviting yourself to be tested. Yeah. You're speaking that out to say, hey, hold me on this path, hold me in this navigational component, this navigational direction. If you can't hold that energy, guess what? Don't be surprised when you get tested. This has been an art for me, I know. It's like, when I'm getting tested by a woman or tested by someone in my life that I'm leading or whatever, instead of like getting like rocked by it and getting like fucked up and, yeah. and questioning it, it's like, oh, okay, sharpen me, sharpen me. Can I, mm -hmm. can I humble and, and redirect every time? Like, this isn't personal. It's like, wow, thank you for making me stronger. Thank you for checking me and keeping me on my fucking path. Absolutely. That's how I feel about it. I mean... Yeah, dude. I was gonna Go say for it, it, it brings up the the idea of like armor. It's like a lot for a lot of people. I feel like being masculine feels like I need to build this armor around myself. Where something happens to me and I'm like, oh fuck, that doesn't bother me. I'm strong. I'm armored. But it's it's more like Kevin was saying when that the wave hits you, the ocean gets you. When the storm comes, when the feminine emotion comes and tries to test you. It's not putting up that armor and being like, no, I'm shutting this down. I'm not gonna deal with that. It's feeling that and realizing how can this make me stronger? Because the most masculine thing to do would be allow that allow whatever's happening to test you and sharpen you, like they were saying. Sharpen you and make you stronger and stronger. And that. That to me is also a very masculine thing, like constantly becoming stronger from every situation. Mm. Yes. And there's two types of testing that I've experienced as well. Sometimes, uh, my like, uh, if I have a feminine partner, if I'm I'm with a uh, uh, you know a strong woman, she might be testing me to feel my heart, to feel my purpose, to feel the strength that I'm capable of like of emitting, or it might be. Hey, you've kind of let me down, you know, and I'm, I'm, I, I don't fully trust you. Here's a test for you. Either way, yes, I embrace it. Please test me. Please sharpen my iron. Please, with your feminine love and your heart and, and the energy that I get from the feminine, yes, test me. Let me show you my warrior mentality. Let me show you that I'm here for you. I'm here to take care of the kids. I'm here to take care of the, the house, whatever. I got you, babe. 
whether that even that be into to intimacy, you know, that's another big part of intimacy. This is why we practice um, not ejaculating, circulating energy so that we can stay penetrative, loving, and in depth in making love. Even love has a firm sense of purpose. And the minute you ejaculate, what happens? You lose your penetrative strength. You lose your charge. You lose your charge, yeah. yeah. It's all about circulating the charge mm -hmm. in all things. And this is like, again, part of Tantra and like this understanding of energetics. And so every time you're getting tested, hey, where are we going? You should stop and ask for directions. Hey, did you, did you do that thing? Did you, did you finish that thing I sent you? Well, guess what? That's an opportunity to circulate. Oh, wow, that's really triggering. I told you 20 times that I was gonna do that. And like, just like, can you just shut up and leave me alone? You know, that, that, that's not a strong masculine. Strong right. masculine takes the hit and it's like, and you still come back with that love. Something very powerful actually I was reminded of last night by a feminine energy was Tony Robbins. I believe Tony Robbins is married twice. He got a divorce for the first time, but he said the number one thing that made their relationship so powerful and last a long time was just like a dog when you come home and it greets you, every time his partner, his wife would show up, even if he felt like shit, and was in debt that day and didn't succeed and he was just like oh feeling sorry for himself he'd greet her with full energy mm -hmm. babe i'm so excited to see you full embrace a kiss tell me about your day like the excitement like bringing that energy to the relationship that's a masculine thing to do mm -hmm. and especially if you filled your own cup with practices you've been training you've been practicing you're present you're going after your purpose you're navigationally aligned it becomes easier and easier to bring your best self to the feminine, which is not just your partner. It's not just your daughter. It's not just a female coworker. It's the fucking world. Mm. There's, there's this, this is crazy. Like I'm, I'm on a heater right now. We, did, <laughs> we were reading uh, this morning in our morning ritual as part of the savers technique. And I was reading uh, Yoga, Immortality and Freedom by Moshe Elad. It's like a French scholar writing about ancient yoga and Vedas and the, the old Tantra, like the beginning of Tantra. And there's a script in one of the Upanishads that the male like priests would say to a female consort before they would have like a sacred ritual. And it's like, you are earth. Your body is a temple of earth. I am heaven and we will unite. And that is like the old school understanding in India and in China. Yang principle, masculine is heaven. It's the cosmos. It's very like present, like intense, like energy. The feminine or yin principle is earth. Like the ancients literally saw fecundity and like agriculture as the heavens in like inseminating the earth. Like the rain coming down and the energy coming down awesome. and the earth is the womb. And that's where like abundance and all that power is coming from. And so imagine if that's how you treated the whole world your woman, your career, your family, your heaven, their earth, and you're coming to bring them abundance, to activate them, penetrate them with energy, and fill them with this life force. Like this, this for me, like there's no limit to what we can apply this understanding to. Mm -hmm. Like the masculine feminine understanding, although we're seeking non-duality and like in the deepest, like most altered trans states and then religious experiences, non-duality is universally experienced. We live in a duality where there's two poles and there's two types of energy and they're dancing around each other constantly. So like, for me, this is the highest art. Learn how to dance. Learn how to dance inside of this energy. Yeah. Like that's what we're practicing here. I love how many people are present in this video. I love you all so much. I wanna get back into warring out the day and living out my purpose. One thing I would ask of you is first off, thank you so much, mahalo, for all of the love. If I haven't responded to your message, Believe me, it's not personal. I am <laughs> overwhelmed a bit, and I can say that as a masculine force. And like, share, and comment this video. Turn on live video notifications. There's a lot more where this came from. Mm. What's the last word, gentlemen? Absolutely. Yeah, go right, go right I was ahead, just man. gonna say, I saw a comment about how there's a lot of women watching this, and where all the men. I would encourage, if you're a woman and there's a man in your life who you would like them to maybe explore these ideas, please share it with them. And I imagine there will be a lot of uh, great feedback that comes out of that. And we'd love, 100%. To, we'd love to see that. Yes. Absolutely. Right. Um, I'd say I just deeply appreciate 
the divine feminine that I'm witnessing in these comments. I see all these badass empowered women and I think that What's up, Dylan? unfortunately the masculine is still like some of that ego shit prevents some men from like being open to watching a new video or, or to reading about tantric and you know about uh, way of the superior man and, and all those things and I just say that like patience, love, forgiveness and also realizing sometimes people are unequally matched and they're it can't be helped. Um, but I believe that there's this crazy awakening that is happening and there is more warriors coming out, more women warriors, men, and I love what I'm seeing. That's it. Yo, thank you guys. Love you. Have a beautiful week. Mm. Until next time, stay polarized. Hey.